Hello, my name is Floyd Maxwell, JustThinkIt.com. This video is called Consequences of a Spring and Loop Theory, Comparing Physics Theories for Right Brain Dominance. Character is the foundation stone upon which one must build to win respect. Just as no worthy building can be erected on a weak foundation, so no lasting reputation worthy of respect can be built on a weak character. Without character, all effort to attain dignity is superficial, and results are sure to be disappointing. R.C. Samsel Would you buy this house? The worst aspect of physics today is the continued blunder of building theories on unsound foundations. Spring and Loop Theory never set out to be the radical underdog, but has taken on that mantle as the only viable approach. This talk will be a deconstruction of mainstream theories, with the hope that aiming a high-intensity torch on the dingy basement of physics will reveal where the largest dust balls swirl. That dark, dingy, cobweb basement had taken all my life from me. That place was where I gave myself up, destroyed my own will, and now it was gone. My will was dead, so I might as well be dead. Margot Fragoso A Painter's Eye House painting in America is not complex. A single trip to your favorite big box retailer will net you brushes, rollers, and more paint than you'll need for about 50 bucks. One coat finishes and latex cleanup mean your rec room will sport new tones in an afternoon. But let's have a look at how Europeans approach this task. Bright bulbs and longevity. My voyage to Europe has yet to occur, but I began to look at paint differently when I hawked acrylics for Benny Moore, where I met Kurt. German to his core, he had done it all. Apprenticing in Europe, his life journey had fatefully led him to a paint and paper dealership in my territory. Over the course of a dozen late night coffee fuel chats, he applied my finished coat, layer by layer, and with uncompromising quality. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. John Locke. Right the first time. In America, change is freedom. In Europe, quality is freedom. Rather than flitting from house to house, Europeans think a good home needs a sound root system. I can't speak for their foundation stones, but I can say they embrace their inner painter. A cultivated person's first duty is to be always prepared to rewrite the encyclopedia. Umberto Eco More refined palettes Whatever you do, avoid any suggestion of single coats, re-rollering, or cheap wall finishes. Americans want three bedrooms, Europeans want three coats, at least. Oh, and they use sandpaper after each coat. And in between coats, inspection passes with a 300 watt light bulb. A little dabble doom ya. I don't like to dabble in anything I don't do well. J.B. Smoove. Let's unroll a few yards of pristine artist paper and see what a new theory of physics would look like if begun from scratch. For starters, we need to right size our bricks. Physics today covets the Brownstonian standard model, but mile-high structures need smarter building materials from the get-go. Plonks all the way down. The idea of an atomic scale is 2,500 years old. Subatomic building blocks, though, are barely 100 years old. Then, just 50 years ago, string theory drew a line in the sand. Plonk-sized units, but no smaller. Had string theory made just one more good assumption, we might be living in a string theory described world today. A scientific truth does not triumph by convincing its opponents and making them see the light, but rather because its opponents eventually die, and a new generation grows up familiar with it. Max Planck The Loops Have It Lee Schmolin described what happened next with acuity in Three Roads to Quantum Gravity. Anyone sincerely trying to make progress in physics should consider it a must-read. The problem with quantum theory is that nothing in our experience behaves in the way the theory describes. Lee Schmolin For what it is worth, I think loop quantum gravity's most unfortunate design choice was to try to describe the Planck world using quantum mechanics. Despite this, Three Roads to Quantum Gravity is authoritative in explaining how we ended up with the various theories we have today. Though perusing the entire book is still recommended, pages 110 to 113 unearth the roots of the most critical decision. Page 113's punchline, we thus have two pictures. In one, the strings are fundamental, and the field lines are an approximate picture. In the other, the field lines are fundamental, and the strings are the derived entities. The first became string theory. The second became loop quantum gravity. In Three Roads to Quantum Gravity, Professor Schmolin also suggests there is a third picture, where the two pictures are equally fundamental. The then a miracle was needed option. 
Gravity breaks the field theories. Loop quantum gravity, quantum field theory, gauge theory, three titans with a common Achilles. They all imagine gravity as a field distributed everywhere. Interestingly, Three Roads to Quantum Gravity notes, almost as an afterthought, that general relativity allows for a universe with no gravity at all. Spring and loop theory allows for this as well. Had loop quantum gravity, quantum field theory, or gauge theory kept this in mind, they might not have made their most fateful assumption. Question everything or end up with nothing. Quote, Believe nothing, no matter where you read it or who said it, no matter if I have said it, unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. Quote, the Buddha. With just a few basic assumptions, we have already pigeonholed every major branch of physics. The standard model is too mathematically sterile, spliced together with the greatest number of assumptions, and many of the worst ones at that. Quantum mechanics has taken the untouchable approach, once common in royal circles, of insisting we never look it in the eye. String theory got the scale right, then reverted to standard model levels of mathematical fantasy. Quote, fantasy is a necessary ingredient in living. It's a way of looking at life through the wrong end of a telescope. Dr. Zeus. The various field theories made better choices about granularity, and in some cases size, then defined gravity's role exactly backwards. The young upstart. Then there is spring and loop theory. Spring and loop theory refused the amorous advances of mathematics until E sub T equals MC cubed. One of the most amazing things about mathematics is the people who do math aren't interested in application because mathematics itself is truly a beautiful art form. Danica McKellar. Nary a nail was hammered until gravity was figured out, at every angle. The theory of evolution, like the theory of gravity, is a scientific fact. Neil deGrasse Tyson. A fledgling theory at first, spring loop theory quickly grew to become a theory of space, and light, and darkness. Redesigning the world of the atom and the quantum took more time. But then resiliency and versatility are spring loop theory strong suits. Resilience, the ability to bounce back when faced with stress or pressure. Finally, spring loop theory has become a soothsayer, explaining and predicting phenomena that existing theories can't. Quote, I predict future happiness for Americans if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. Thomas Jefferson. Because they simply cannot get here from there. The unsolved problems pile up and inevitably produce catastrophes at regular intervals. Luigi Barzini. The last step is a doozy. It took 15 years before special relativity was accepted, and another 40 years for general relativity to become, quote, central to physics and astronomy, quote. And this at a time when just two fundamental forces were known. How hard will it be for a truly new theory to make a mark today? In every age there is a turning point, a new way of seeing and asserting the coherence of the world. Jacob Bernowski. The ether to the rescue, again? In 1905, when special relativity was published, a fundamentally different approach was active in the world of physics. At the time, it was more core than fringe, yet ether theories quickly evaporated as the world breathed in Einstein's relativities. Wouldn't it be interesting if an ether theory ultimately won out? Compatibility prevails. The most important aspect of relativity, particularly general relativity, is that it extended Newton's gravity, while being reducible to it in the simplest case. Relativity was a true superset, yet an equally elegant formula. For 100 years, no subsequent theory has been able to make such claims. Elegance is when the inside is as beautiful as the outside. Coco Chanel. A new sprout. Spring and loop theory, too, is a superset, but also a corrector and an extender. A reform is a correction of abuses. A revolution is a transfer of power. Edward G. Bulwer-Lytton. Spring loop theory harmonizes completely with Einstein's equation, while also extending it. And where Newton kept gravity mysterious, the spring loop theory model despookifies gravity's distance-spanning power. The fact that the universe is governed by simple natural laws is remarkable, profound, and, on the face of it, absurd. How can the vast variety in nature, the multitude of things and processes, all be subject to a few simple universal laws? Heinz Pagels. It really is that simple. Spring and loop theory is an almost magical eraser, which is to say good assumptions cure everything. 
Regardless of how dead we feel in a crowd, we cling to the uniquely American assumption that associating is good and necessary, and solitude is suspect. Laurie Helgo Problems with 120 zeros after them disappear, by definition. Dogmatic notions of explosive creation are blocked by the agnostic wall of basic building blocks. And mythical particle wave particle potentates are reverted back to their things in an ether overalls. Of all insults, the temporary condescension of a master to a slave is the most outrageous and galling. That potentate who most condescends, mark him well, for that potentate, if occasion come, will prove your uttermost tyrant, Herman Melville. Unless, unless you have fallen in love with your pet theory. Unless ego is what drives you. Unless you're in it for the money. And until, ostriches have been around some 30 plus million years. It is probable they will continue for at least a few million more. But I wouldn't bet too much on the longevity of quantum, string, or standard stuff. Proof is at hand. If anyone would like to discuss the future of physics, in the form of their choosing, Spring and Loop Theory would be happy to join the contestation, even though it is a bit of an unfair fight. Drop me a line if you think otherwise.